What's up everyone? I'm Connor here at Novice Defense and today I'm going to be reviewing this Streetwise Ballistic Backpack Shield. It's a bulletproof insert for your backpack. As you can see we put this thing through uh, some pretty serious tests and we're going to go ahead and show you how we did that. Let's talk about the rating first. So this one is rated to level 3A. When you get anything higher than 3A that gets into like hard plate territory. Um, 3A is pretty much all pistols, um, up to 44 Magnum, uh, technically can stop shotgun rounds as well, um, but it can't stop. Slugs or no? Um, yes, slugs, slugs, technically. Although, you know, the damage it creates behind that is. Comes with a lot of force. Yeah. So most active shooter incidents, only 27% are rifles, involve rifles. So this should protect against technically three quarters of, of active shooter incidents. Um, any, when you get into rifle plate territory, the rifle plates are very heavy. They're either made of ceramic or steel, and that's just not practical yeah. on a daily basis. So as far as what this ballistic plate um, is perfect for, it's gonna be perfect for your backpack insert. This particular brand, Streetwise, comes in multiple different sizes, all the way up to 11 by 18. So um, whether you're an adult or a little kid, there's gonna be a size for you. And then we carry multiple, or two brands on our website. We carry Tuffy Packs, and then this is Streetwise. So this is really lightweight, and it's not gonna be a hindrance to a kid. Um, if you're worried about extra weight for them to carry around, it's not gonna get in your way. It's very comfortable to carry. Um, they can be used to protect yourself in a variety of different ways, which we'll show uh, as well in a shooter scenario. Rifle plates are just impractical. They're very large, they're very heavy, they're usually made of ceramic or steel, and they just don't work for a daily basis type carry. All right, so far as far as testing this product out today, we're actually gonna put it through the ringer and shoot it with a couple different calibers of pistols. So we're gonna start with a nine millimeter um, which is a very common round. And then we'll go to a 45 and a 357 SIG, which is a pretty high velocity pistol round, um, kind of getting up there closer to the 44 Magnum. So it is rated for it. I expect them to stop. I expect the plate to stop um, all three bullets. And by the end, we're going to try to just shoot it once with both calibers, or I'm sorry, with all three calibers. All right, let's get out there and do it. Hi right, guys, we're out here on a beautiful day out in Colorado and we're going to go ahead and test this ballistic backpack shield. Again, this backpack insert ballistic shield is rated 3A for most caliber pistols starting from 22 caliber all the way up to 44 Magnum. We're going to be testing three different calibers on this shield today, 9 millimeter, 45 and a 357 SIG. So we got a variety of rounds and we're going to see how this thing holds up. All right, let's do this. Test one, nine millimeter. All right, checking out where we shot. We hit right center mass. Feeling that hole. I can feel the bullet in there. It's nice and flat. So it looks like it did its job. Test two, 45. Test three, 357 SIG. All right, so we just shot the 357 SIG. Um, I can actually see bullet partial in there. It looks like it caught the bullet, but it shredded that plastic, that layered plastic up pretty well. It's obtruding out um, significantly compared to the other shots. So that's kind of what we expected. We knew the 357 SIG was a faster round. Um, more powerful round and it held up. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, pull this thing off, check the back out. So as you can see, it ripped, but that bullet did not go through. Uh, that plastic protruded out a little bit, but it completely stopped the bullet on all three shots. This bottom one again is the 357 SIG. And I can't really tell even where the other two shots are. Somewhere up here. That looks like the 45 right here. 
and then the nine millimeter didn't even protrude through even the even the slightest so very impressive product right here all right we're going to go ahead and do a full failure test this is more rounds than it's actually rated for but we're going to go ahead and empty our magazines you ready 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 Cease fire. We hit the back side. <laughs> All right, let's see what it. All right. All right, so to say the least, um, there were some things we didn't account for there. It flipped around on us and we hit the back, but it's very torn up in the middle. I still don't think, I'm not seeing any protruding rounds. We didn't get to shoot it that many times. It fell off the board pretty quick. We ran out of staple, so it wasn't completely secure, but still even held up taking rapid rounds like that. So we threw everything we had at this thing, guys. Uh, towards the end there, we just unloaded our magazines on it. You can see it even just flatten the bullets completely. Uh, and as far as we can tell, nothing went through. We, we opened it up, kind of looked at all the layers. This is what it looks like on the inside, a bunch of different layers and nothing went through, so it's, it's a great little device. That was a, little, that was a fun little test we did there. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the like button. If you're enjoying the content, hit that subscribe button. Any questions, drop them in the comments, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.